What I wanted to talk about is the iPhone 11. Now the iPhone 11, it's a great device. And as a vlogger, you can do a couple of things with it. Now after watching a couple of videos, before I went in and I purchased it, I saw a couple of videos that show that you can use the iPhone for vlogging. So I was very excited to go out there and buy it just for that one reason. When I actually used this phone, the iPhone 11, now I was using two cameras. One of them was the G7X Mark II. And I looked up the settings on YouTube and I put them in the camera and I was vlogging with it for a couple of months. So this is a sample to show you how the front facing camera is. It is unclear when you look at my face, especially in an indoor place. Another thing is, is the amount of light that you are getting. So if you go to another to a place that's inside, you might have a problem with your iPhone. But I found out that with my camera, I have a much, much better high quality picture than the phone itself. So I think that you can never replace your camera for an iPhone 11. So the first week I was really excited about getting the iPhone. So I went out there, tested my iPhone 11 out, and I was doing a lot of vlogs with it. So when I came back home, I was disappointed with the quality of the video that I was getting because I was using my G7X Mark II all the time and I had the good settings in it. So that made a big difference in the quality of the video that I was getting. So in the beginning I was using just the camera app that's in the iPhone and record with it right away. Now, there wasn't that many settings in this, and the video quality was decent, but it was not as good as my G7X camera. After a while, I learned that I can go in and download several apps so that I can have better quality picture. So I went in, I downloaded the apps, and one of them was Movie Pro. This software, I went and I looked at the settings for it, and when I put the settings in it and I tried to turn the dial in so I can blur the background and have a really nice vlog, it wasn't that easy to use. Still, after I put all the settings in, it's just limited to the back facing cameras. And when you use the back facing cameras, you have to go like this, and you can't really see what's in front of you. Because if you want to have a good vlog, and you want to be able to see yourself and you can't make any of those settings on the movie pro so that was a disappointment so i actually went back to my camera and i started using it and i'm not using the iphone 11 anymore even though i know that it's gonna bring a decent quality picture i want some really good quality vlogs. Every time when I do a vlog, I want it to be excellent. The only reason why I would want to use my iPhone to vlog is that 
if I'm outside and there is a lot of people around me then I can start using my iPhone to vlog just because if there's people that are watching you and you're holding a camera and you're talking to the camera you're just gonna be bringing attention to yourself so that was the case with me like why did I want to go with the iPhone versus the camera itself but if I'm vlogging by myself in my room for example then I would definitely use my camera instead of the iPhone because it's, it gives you better quality videos and that's my experience of the iPhone 11 versus any camera that you have because you can go in you can make the right settings and by doing that you will have better quality pictures so when I went in there and I tested the movie pro I was disappointed with it because with the front-facing camera I could not make it work to do face tracking and it doesn't blur the background so that was one of the problems that I was having with it now I downloaded other apps and I tested them and they did not do a good job with a front-facing camera they were limited to the back facing cameras as well and even with the back facing camera I still didn't think that they did a good job of blurring the background and having a good vlog with it a lot of these marketers they go in and they're doing advertising for the app itself and you don't want to trust these guys right away because once you start using it by yourself then you're gonna know how the app is now what I found out is that it's hard to use this dial right here within the app like if you are using that versus what you have in a Canon camera it's just not as good another thing with the iPhone is that you have to hold it in like this if you hold it in like this then it's not gonna be a video that shows the full width of the video so all the time you have to hold it like this 